In this training exercise, we will be discussing several data sets within the flood risk database that store results from the risk assessment. Risk assessments allow communities to analyze physical damages, economic losses, and social impacts associated with natural disasters such as flooding. The resulting data sets communicate the overall flood risk exposure and damage estimates within the risk map project area and help guide mitigation efforts by highlighting areas where risk reduction actions may produce the highest return on investment. This video will give an overview of the methodology behind a structure-specific risk assessment which includes the development of the user-defined facilities and will demonstrate how to query the resulting data sets in ArcMap to visualize lost estimates. FEMA's HAZA software is used to perform the risk assessment. Loss estimates vary by structure type, such as residential, commercial, or industrial, and are based on a relationship between flood depth and the associated percentage of damage for each structure type. In the default census block-based approach, if flooding touches any part of a census block, then the entire value for all structures within that census block is added to the loss estimate. This type of approach generally produces extremely conservative loss estimates, often overestimating what the true losses might be. In 2010, FEMA conducted a nationwide Level 1 analysis to estimate average annualized losses, also referred to as AAL, by county using the census block-based approach and H&H &H analysis that utilized a 30-meter digital elevation model. The results of this study serve as the baseline level of risk assessment and are used when a more refined analysis cannot be conducted. When local data such as building footprints or parcels with structure values is available and more accurate depth grids have been produced, such as those discussed in the flood depth and analysis grids training video, a refined assessment, also known as a level two analysis, is the best and most accurate approach to analyzing and communicating flood risk. Since a level two analysis estimates losses at the building level, the results can often help facilitate flood risk discussions with individual home or business owners and provides valuable information to communities to help pre-screen projects before going through a more in-depth benefit cost analysis. The User Defined Facility, or UDF, feature class provides the location and inventory data where site-specific risk assessments were performed. One point is created per structure in the floodplain. Information provided in local building footprint or parcel data is used to attribute each UDF point with a structure or occupancy type, number of stories, year built, and an approximate asset replacement value. The asset replacement values stored in the UDF points replace the default values in HAZUS to make the resulting loss estimates more accurate. Asset replacement values for UDF points within the floodplain are aggregated to the census block level and are included in the LRA UDF refined table in the flood risk database. For those areas where no new models or depth grids have been created, a refined analysis cannot be performed, and the AAL values from the 2010 FEMA nationwide level one analysis have to be used and are included within the LRA AAL table. These two tables are combined to create the composite table. The composite table is used in combination with the census block and political area feature classes to create the summary table, which provides the risk assessment results by community. For risk map projects performed in Alabama, losses are shown at a building footprint level in the R underscore building footprints layer, which is provided along with the other tables listed here as an additional enhanced data set in the flood risk database. In addition to being stored in the flood risk database, risk assessment results are summarized by community in tables in the flood risk report and are included on the flood risk map to visually communicate where concentrations of loss are predicted within the project area. We will now demonstrate how to query and symbolize these data sets in ArcMap to help visualize loss estimates for a specific community. 
In this exercise, we will query and symbolize the risk assessment data sets to determine where concentrations of buildings with the greatest loss potential during the 1% annual chance flood event are located within the city of Talladega. Navigate to the flood risk database and add the building footprints and the political area features to your ArcMap document. Right click on the political area layer and select open attribute table. Right click on the political name field and select sort ascending. Navigate to and double click on the city of Talladega. This will select our political area of interest and zoom to it in the map. Close the attribute table and check the map to verify that the political area is selected. Since we are only interested in losses within the city of Talladega, we will query out the building footprints that are within the selected political area. From the selection menu, click Select by Location. Set the selection method drop-down to select features from and check the box next to the building footprints layer. Set the source layer to the political area feature and check the box to use selected features. The spatial selection method for target layer features should be set to intersect the source layer feature. Click OK. Turn on the Building Footprints layer. To reduce the amount of data we are looking at, right-click on the Building Footprints layer, navigate to Selection, and choose Create Layer from Selected Features. You will notice that a Building Footprints selection layer has been added to your table of contents. We will use this layer for the remainder of the exercise. Now turn off the building footprints and the political area layers. We are only interested in buildings from our selected buildings layer that have a 1% annual chance loss value greater than zero. So we will set a definition query to filter the data further. Double click on the selection layer to open the properties. Navigate to the Definition Query tab and click the Query Builder button. Scroll through the list of fields to the Loss underscore 01% field and double click to add it to the query box. Complete the query by adding the greater than sign and zero. Click OK. We will now symbolize the selected building footprints based on the 1% annual chance loss values so we can visualize hotspots on the map. Double click the layer to open the properties window. Navigate to the Symbology tab. Click Quantities, Graduated Colors. Set the value field to loss underscore 0.1%. Choose an appropriate color ramp. Since we want the higher loss values to stand out, we will choose a color ramp that makes those buildings red. Click OK. Zoom in to the cluster of buildings in the middle of the city of Talladega. For location reference, add a base map layer to your map. With the building symbolized, you can now easily identify buildings with the most significant loss estimates, which will help you focus your mitigation efforts. This concludes the training video.